Right, so I had a viewer ask me a question about my tree tomato. So I've done a few videos on that last year. Um, what an update, or just asked about whether the, the fruits ripened enough to get seeds from them. I think the question was, and the answer is no. They, uh, they're quite a cool summer we had last year and they, they did fruit but it didn't quite ripen off so the seeds weren't good um but i thought as the year before i'd kept it in an unheated greenhouse i thought maybe that, that might tolerate the winter outside so i left it in the ground where it was and uh, so this is the update it's just a stump so unless you've watched any of the old videos you won't know but that was this is the tree tomato it was well over six foot anyway sort of quite big leaves and obviously it dropped its leaves over winter to be expected so we were left with this sort of a six foot stick and um in the spring it looked like it might come back you know i'd give, give it a little scratch and it looked green underneath the sort of outer layer and it looked like it had a couple of buds on it as well but Obviously, as the season went on, I chopped it down to a point where I thought, well, if it does regrow, it could send out some new growth. But um, so we, we've got a two foot stick in the ground there. When I mean, you didn't really notice it, I will dig it out. Um, but yeah, so that is the update on the tree tomato. So on that note, I think the same viewer asked me the question, where can I buy them from? So. I've just brought one. Um, so this is what a tree tomato looks like. Um, I'd say this one's getting close to three foot. It is good sized leaves on it. They do have sort of uh, giant leaves. Look a bit like a sunflower, I guess, to the, the untrained eye. But obviously the backs of the leaves have got a bit of a Dark, darker colour to them, which obviously fades out as they uh, mature, but you still got dark veins, so that's a little bit of interest as well. Um, yeah, so a big leaf plant. So where do we buy them from? Well, I did have a look online, and you can get them. There's a few nurseries, and I think even eBay were doing them for, I don't know, between eight and 10 quid for very small plants. So I thought, I remember, I had a visit to Urban Jungle in Beckles um, maybe a month ago and I, I saw some in there and I thought, yeah, I'm sure they were only around a tenner. So I went back there this morning and they are 10.99. That's the actual name there, Selenum. Um, again, feel free to pause and read the information on that. Um, so yeah, that is the... Uh, the fruits you get off them very similar to a tomato uh, very nutritious apparently good for you but um yeah so 10.99 for pushing three foot tall and giant leaves already so i think that's a good price but um luckily i did i was gonna buy one of these last time i went like say about a month or two ago whenever it was and i didn't and I've been thinking about buying another one since. And then uh, obviously when I went today, that has had the 30% uh, off. So the Selenum, which is the top one there, was uh, $7.69. So $7.69 for a plant of that sort of size. And I would say it's not a particularly common plant either. It's just, you know, you can get them, but they're, they're fairly sort of uh, unusual. And yeah, for that price I thought I'll get another one put it in a nice pot and uh, they overwinter fine in a unheated greenhouse as long as they don't get the frost that frost is what's going to kill them um, so the trunk is, is fairly hard but I think the trunk is sort of pretty much hollow so if, if that does get frosted that that'll kill it all the way down so the soft growth at the top will frost and kill the whole plant so 
that's not really worth wrapping them because they're going to lose their leaves anyway so the, your best bet is if you've got it in the ground to dig it up if you want to over winter it or just keep it in a pot and do it like that so that's what i'm going to do this year keep it in a pot whack it in the greenhouse unheated and um next year hopefully we'll get some fruits if we we had a if we have a nice summer like we've had this year that should uh, do very well because even last year with the the poor sort of cooler summer we had um the thing grew like uh, jack and the beanstalk you know they did real quick growers um yeah so that's a little bit more unusual and a very good price at the moment so i don't know if you go online whether that tells you it's 30 percent off or whether that's even applicable online if you you know mail mail ordering plants but um certainly if you turn up there there's a uh, 30 percent off these and quite a few other bits somewhere I mean, i've just done a, another video on some other sort of big leaf affordable tropical so i did feature this plant in it as well but yeah there's some other plants there as well so yeah if, if you're in the area might be worth a visit so i know i don't know i don't like to bad mouth companies but they've got a bit of a reputation for being overpriced or very expensive but in fairness their plants are good quality and they're going to have stuff that you're not going to get anywhere else so sometimes you have to bite the bullet and pay the price or sometimes i think like you say you find this uh plant like this which is not a, a common plant at all and uh you know it just seems too cheap for stuff of this size but yeah i'm happy anyway so we've got a a new plant albeit a replacement for the one we lost last year but yeah, so there's the update on that. So if anyone was wondering what happened to it, the original one died, we've got a new one. Thanks for watching.